an Indian ex-Muslim arrested for blasphemy and criticizing Islam. On December 29th, Anish uh, ja Jassi, a well-known Tamil ex-Muslim atheist with a large social media following, was arrested by police in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Anish posted a meme comparing the Prophet Muhammad with Anna Purani uh, Arasu Amma, a self-proclaimed godwoman. In the caption, he pointed out that Muslims readily agree that this godwoman is ridiculous, but failed to realize that the Prophet Muhammad's claims were similarly ridiculous 1,400 years ago. He was charged under their Indian penal code for, quote, deliberate and malicious acts meant to outrage religious feelings, promoting enmity between uh, different groups of religion, race, place of birth, etc., and, quote, making statements relating to public mischief. The organization Ex-Muslims of India reported that his application for bail was rejected twice, and they speculate that Islamists were behind his arrest, as he was recently threatened with being sent to jail during a public discussion on the social audio app Clubhouse. Man, only in India you could get both um, oppressing Muslims. Wait, where was this? In Tamil Nadu, in South India. Yeah. Okay. So, like, like the the worst combination. Not pro like instead of protecting Muslims, you're protecting Islam, and also you're oppressing Muslims. <laughs> oppressing Muslims and defending oh. Islam instead of Muslims at the same time. Like that's the unbelievable, right? Like, like I wish instead of defending Islam, they were defending Muslims in India. That you know, in the way, in this aggressively what um, i think is really ridiculous and particularly telling is that the complainant in the police reports against him are the actual police themselves so th think about how ridiculous it is that it is the police going after this man themselves it's not like someone went to the police that we know of and then reported him and then the oh, police wow. got involved the police are named as the ones, as the complainant against him. Now, the reason why it's suspected that Islamists are involved with this is one, because of the threats that he's been faced with before and um, different news outlets that have spoken with his friends. Um, his friends are alleging that they think that um, Islamists uh, have gone to the police and then they didn't want their name to be on the complaint. So then they got the police basically to file it on their behalf. These are allegations. Um, and what's really interesting in particular is that according to his wife and his friends and the, what they've said to local media is that he was arrested on false pretenses. So the police showed up to his house and told him that they needed to talk to him and that he needed to come to the station, but it didn't have to do with him. It had to do with like a colleague or someone that he works with. They needed to ask him questions. And then he was not heard of for like 10 days. And because they're like, oh yeah, you know, they'll they just I we just need to talk to you for like 10 minutes. And then they like can't get a hold of him for 10 days until finally like people start to get involved and really dig in to find out what what happened to a niche. Like, where is he? Um and um I have seen some people on uh Facebook, like in the groups that I'm involved in, saying that he was granted bail like within the past few days, but I can't verify that at all. Okay. That's just something I've heard. So I hope that's true, but I really have no way to verify that. What was his blasphemy again? The meme that he posted? Well, if you scroll down, we actually posted it and then we posted mm -hmm. translations. Oh, we did? Yes. Um, wow. Look at, look at us go. So wait, scroll Which back one? up to this, the picture of the woman. This... Oh, okay. So here um basically it's a this picture of this god woman that i was talking about and mm -hmm. um the loose translation wait let me pull it up on um the uh, my side um is like basically islamist don't you guys think what this woman is doing is funny to you didn't like prophet muhammad do the same thing 1400 years ago so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then if you scroll down a little bit more you see the other meme that was also included in the police report against him or th that's what's being reported. Mm -hmm. And so the translation of this meme is um, basically the Muslim saying, Christians are making disgusting comments towards Islam. Something needs to be done about it. And then the ex-Muslim is saying, I'm ex-Muslim. Even I'm disgusted by your Quran and Hadith. 
Right. And this is what he gets arrested for? Yes, for just yeah, like was. criticizing Islam. For posting memes. Yes. Amazing. In India, you could get guys, India, you could get arrested for posting memes. <laughs> oh my god. This is the world's largest democracy, everyone. The world's largest secular democracy arrests you. The police, without anyone complaining, just shows up. And I, I mean, as far as we know, you said it could be other ways. The police just shows up and just takes you. Unbelievable. Well, I mean, I don't know why you're acting surprised. Like, this was the exact same basis of all the police reports filed against you. He the, he was what well, some me? of the charges filed against him are under two nine five a, which is exactly what you were hit with, Armin, for basically yeah. also a meme. Well, I mean, we, we, what are you talking? Why are you surprised? We have a court case right now with Twitter, and they're coming after our memes. Okay, but I, we should we should we should can't let the, we have to still remain surprised. Okay, I don't I refuse, <laughs> I refuse to not be surprised by people being arrested for goddamn memes <laughs> like i will always be surprised okay even if this ha keeps happening for another thousand times and we keep reporting it here i will not let this be normalized in my gut in my head okay <laughs> this should be shocking again and it's <laughs> especially in a country that is supposed to be a secular democracy like look at look at this defensive attitude here don't blame hindus for that we didn't even mention hindus we're talking about the police like what did we got did we what did does we this blame? have to do with hindus this has nothing to do with hindus we did, Hindu did we, Susanna, like, you need at, to get a grip, get a grip. calm down like <laughs> this isn't the, about you <laughs> not, not not everything in india is about hindus this is specifically about like muslim like ex muslims and muslims and islam so i don't understand what are you talking about look at look how defensive you are jesus christ Okay. <laughs> Wait, so I was trying to post so there's a petition that was um circulated yeah. to um drop the charges against him and I tried to post it in the chat but for some reason it looks just absolutely crazy. Let me see if I can find a better link. Um so yeah, people have um started a petition to have him released, although at this point I have heard some rumblings that maybe he's released. Again, I can't confirm that, but also to drop the charges against him. Um, Rudresh is saying, um, MK Stalin's father. So, um, MK Stalin, I believe is the current chief minister of, um, uh, Tamil Nadu. And he's literally named after like the Stalin, just like, by the way, like actually, um, <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Why? So anyways, this is like, I, um, I can't remember his position in government, but correct me if he's not the chief minister. Um, so anyway, Rudrush is saying MK Stalin's father, um, ooh, Karunanidhi openly blasphemed against Lord Ram and got into controversy. The current DMK party in Tamil Nadu always has a soft uh, spot for Abrahamic religions. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> secular variety saying bold baby name. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, yeah. I think, isn't his first name actually like joseph like he's actually fully named after him i don't know i remember my friends from india sending me that and i was like what the yes he is the chief minister look at me knowing knowing some things <laughs> yes it's impressive um oh yeah by but, the way uh, d was mentioning that she heard that he's freed right now so we haven't confirmed that yet right we don't know we don't know we, for sure we don't know for sure okay um but guys, if you go check out the article that we wrote, um, the link for that is in the description. Um, because the petition wasn't working for some reason when I tried to post it here, um, you can find the mm -hmm. petition in our article. Um, like I said, because I think it is absolutely patently insane that in Indians are being like persecuted for criticizing a religion from which they formerly belonged in. This is part of their rights that should be protected under Indian law. They have a right to self-expression. Um, not to mention the fact that this is particularly interesting coming from 
South India, where there is such a strong tr tradition in history of criticism and rejection of religion and rationalism. And so to see someone who's an atheist and a rationalist um, being, you know, um, the police going after him for something like this is, it's worrying. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.